morning everyone welcome to day 18 of the uh, potato challenge so I did an awesome job yesterday and in the last few days of eating leftovers and now I don't have anything to eat so I need to make some food I'm starving Marvin I decided to make something it's called cheesy broccoli soup with sweet potato and white beans from dr. Furman's uh, website I am NOT using the white beans part of it so basically what I'm going to end up doing is having I've got 12 cups of broth warming up on the on the stove I'm going to put three medium Japanese sweet potatoes right there in the pot and cook them and a whole bunch of onion and cook them and also in there is going to go garlic gotta have garlic and you're supposed to use broccoli that you chop up but I bought this on clearance and I'm totally going to use this so I think that will be awesome so I'm going to cook that um, and then you're supposed to take some of it out and blend it and do all this kind of stuff with the spices and everything. So I'm going to actually do that, but I'm going to put a potato in there to blend with the spices and some of the liquid from the soup so that I can make that be the creamy part of the soup rather than having the beans be the creamy part of the soup. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, I'm planning on using the all the other ingredients. So there's black pepper, chipotle chili powder, paprika, turmeric, nutmeg, um, nutritional yeast, and a bay leaf. So I plan on using all of the other ingredients uh, to make it into the soup and hopefully it will taste phenomenal. So I'm gonna go cook and I'll let you guys know what it's like when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so the long awaited moment is here. There is some soup. I'm really hungry. Oh, hi. let's put this up a little bit higher. Okay, I'm really hungry so hopefully this tastes pretty good. Um, if it doesn't, that's okay. But it's a Dr. Furman recipe so I can't imagine that it won't be like just awesome. As always, I come to taste stuff with you guys. Well, look at hmm. And it's like hot, hot. Ooh. Okay, this is good. And if you like a little bit of kick and spice to your soup, you'll really like this. But uh, I put half the amount of chipotle chili pepper in here that I was supposed to. Maybe should just lift it out. <laughs> I'm a wuss. This has got a little bit of a kick to it. It's got a little spice to it. The flavors otherwise are really good. And I don't think it's too spicy that I can't eat it, but it, um, it's got a kick going on in there, guys. Hmm. This is definitely edible though. This is pretty good. Alrighty. So that's all sorts of stuff going on in this one. If I get some requests for a recipe for this, I will definitely um, make an actual video um, sometime in the future for you guys. But this is definitely something that I would recommend that you guys might want to try. Dr. Furman's website is full of all sorts of amazing recipes. This one's good. So yeah, I'm going to go eat breakfast even though it is um, 1023. And I've been up for a very, I mean, you guys know, I get up at like crazy early hours of the day. I've been up for a really long time. So I'm going to go eat now because I'm hungry. Anyway, I'm also going to go stick some potatoes in the oven to bake because I'm very hungry. So I need food to eat for like the next few days. So we got to go do that. But I will talk to you guys again later when I'm doing some more cooking. And I hope you're enjoying your day. Alrighty guys. So today's lunch is going to be very similar. Even though I had soup a little while ago, I'm still kind of hungry. So I'm going to have something very similar to what I had yesterday. There is a very small potato, like a tiny, tiny little potato that I mashed up in there. And I cooked some sprouts and cabbage and um, carrots and some broth and I'm going to put it on top of my potato and eat it and it's gonna be delicious and super awesome so I'll take turn this around and show you what it looks like alrighty guys so that is what's going to be for lunch I don't know about what you think but I think it looks delicious so there's my potato in the bottom and there are my veggies on top and it's going to be yummy so I'm going to go eat with my family and I will talk to you guys again later Alrighty guys, so I decided to make a um, another batch of the zucchini soup and this time I put like an entire package of mushrooms in it. So it's a lot darker than it was before, which is totally fine. See that? No, you really can't. Um, so yeah, let me show you real quick. It's, it is definitely darker. But anyway, the reason that I was showing you is because we found, so the Better Than Bullion no chicken base that I really like, like I really like that stuff, 
it has a lot of sodium in it so you don't use like if you're making anything else it something you don't use extra sodium at all um but we found at costco my mom actually mentioned that she had seen it and i was like oh better check that out it's a better than bouillon and it's massive but it's a vegetable based one and it's low sodium so for the same amount the one teaspoon instead of having 600 and something it's got 350 which is great but the coolest thing about this one it doesn't have oil in it so the chicken one has the no chicken base has oil in it and this one does not at all it has vegetables which are carrots celery onions tomato maltodextrin that says that it's organic which whatever um, salt, cane sugar, concentrated vegetable juice, that's carrot, celery, onion, yeast extract, potato starch, garlic powder, and then spices, whatever their proprietary blend of spices might be. Um, so yeah, I used that, and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, so I used two-thirds that and one-third of the no chicken base. It's very good. Um, it's just not as, it's a lot more, uh, mushroomy than it was, obviously when I just used enoki mushrooms, not regular mushrooms, but... It's very good. You guys should try doing this. So I would highly suggest that if you have a have an option of getting a lower sodium one, that you should do that because you definitely don't need the amount of salt that's in the other one, but you could even mix them half and half and that would be fine. So anyway, just thought I would show you guys that. And for supper tonight, I am making um, ramen for the kids. Obviously homemade, <laughs> not any kind of packaged anything. Um, but they're going to be, they're going to really like that. So I'm going to make ramen for them. And I am probably going to make, um, I'm probably going to eat ramen as well, but make it with zoodles. So zucchini noodles. Yeah, I have some zucchini left. I was like, maybe I just used all the zucchini. I don't, I, I have a few left. So I'll probably do that. So I'll have the same thing as they are having. I'll just have zoodles instead of regular noodles. So that'll work out fine. Anyways, just thought I would check with you guys and we will talk to you again over supper. Alrighty guys, so supper time is ready to be had right at the moment, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we were doing. So I'm making ramen for supper like I told you about, and um, instead of having um, regular ramen noodles, which aren't regular ramen noodles, I buy these organic brown rice and millet noodles that are ramen noodles. Anyway, I'm having zucchini noodles. So there's my zucchini, and I'm going to put the uh, cabbage and... Um, Let's see, there's mixed vegetables in there, cabbage and liquid and broth all over the top of that and eat that. And it's going to be super, super, super delicious. I'm really excited about it. I'll take a picture and I'll put it right here for you so you can see what my bowl looks like. And I wanted to show you what um, everybody else's bowl looks like. This one is my husband's. It's really clever looking. Hang on just one second. Is that not super neat? So that's pressed tofu, obviously. Um, and there's some broth in there, a bunch, of, whole bunch of noodles, and then um, the cabbage and the mixed veggies. We're going to eat with chopsticks and... Um, forks if we need. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that is what that one looks like. And uh, you guys saw what mine looked like. It's super delicious. And I'm super excited about it. So I hope you guys are having a great day. We'll talk to you again soon.